I remember lying on the ground, I was winded and my legs wouldn't work. I was worse than winded and my two, both my lungs were, were gone. Um, all my bones were broken, my chest and everything, but it just felt badly winded. And <laughs> the first three minutes all I was thinking was, oh, I hope it's now it's just a trapped nerve in my back and I'm just badly winded, so I want to ride in the Grand National tomorrow. And I was the same for about two hours, even in the hospital, my legs wouldn't work. And it was when I got the tube in my side then, my lungs were punctured and kind of realised things were a little more serious then. I was riding in the, I was riding Lord Windermere in the Grand National the day after and I probably didn't want to be going to Wexford but I, I had two good rides that had, had chances so I, I said I'd go down. I, I don't know, I didn't have a great feeling the whole day. I remember driving down I was listening to uh, a song Nicki Minaj and um, what's the Australian one? Uh, Trouble, I anyway, it was the name of the song. One of the first times, times I heard it, uh, I, I didn't get a good feeling off for some reason. And I'm not a superstitious person, right? But I went out anyway. And, um, went down to the third last and we were racing away. I was travelling okay. And I, I did something that I hate doing. I'd give out to the lads if I saw I doing it. I, I, kinda, I dropped the horse. I, I, I went like that with him. I always have a horse gathered up. You should always have a horse in your hands. And I went like that. And I just dropped him and the horse reached. And, he fell at the back of it and stumbled and uh, knocked it over. I got a grand fall, it was, it was straightforward, it was running a mill fall. But when he fell, the horse came down behind, hit him, flipped and landed on top of me. The, the support I got was, was sensational. And I think it was the same with Freddie Talicki. And I think racing is brilliant like that. It's a huge community and they're very, very supportive. But when I was in there, it didn't matter if it was on my own or there was 200 people around. I still knew what the situation was. And, uh, it, it, it was tougher at times, it was brilliant at times to get to the support and my parents were, uh, it's not easy to talk about, um, my parents were there 24-7 and it, the toughest part was seeing them upset. It's it's funny. Like at the time, it was obviously a low. Um, it took a lot of adjusting and a lot of getting used, to and there was plenty of low times. But uh, it was it was something in my life that was obviously destined to do, and um, I got on with it and got over it. And like it's grand people mightn't see it the way I see it, but I I know I wouldn't be here with 25 horses, 25 lovely horses, great owners, uh, great facilities. I I know I wouldn't be in that position if I hadn't got to fall because I'd, uh, I wouldn't have worked as hard towards it and I, you do need to work seriously hard towards it and I, I put all my time, I, I'm obsessed with training and I put all my time and effort into it and I think if the, the fall hadn't happened when it did I got into the wider view of the public and people saw the story and kind of came along with it and it definitely propelled me a little more and made things easier to get going and training was always what I wanted to do but it gave me a huge head start in that Obviously, I'd rather not be in a wheelchair, but it it makes a lot less difference to me than people think. I get on in my life every day. You ask the lads in the yard. Around here, there's nothing to, to remind you you're in a wheelchair, and I just get on. Same going racing. Horses can't go up steps, so there's no steps at the races. Uh, all of Ireland is pretty wheelchair accessible, and I go out, I drink with the lads, I go to nightclubs, party, and mess with women, and live, live a perfectly normal life, and I'd much rather be where I am in a wheelchair uh, than where most other people are. Uh, I, I'm working hard, I have a job I love, I have great friends around, great family, and uh, I think I'm blessed to be where I am. Um, like, uh, I, I have belief in myself, I have no doubts of my own ability to do something. And maybe I'm away with the fairies, but I, I'll, everything I've put my mind to in my, in my life, whether it's getting over the fall, golfing, riding, I've always succeeded and I, I don't see any difference why it's going to be different in training. I plan on going uh, to the very, very top. There's no point in me saying otherwise. Um, that's where I plan on going. Gordon Elliott said it about five years ago and he's, he, he was saying it the same as way as I was. He was saying it that I remember him, him saying, he said, oh, sure. so they asked him about it and he said, of course, that's, that's the aim. Now, inside in Gordon's head, he was saying it because he didn't want to sound bullish or anything, but inside in Gordon's head, he knew exactly where he was going to be in five years' time. And I feel the same way. <laughs>